Chris here. Let's begin texturing our screwdriver. Before we start, let's take a look at our reference. So the first thing I like to do when texturing is to break up into folders the various materials that are going to go into the texturing of the model. So we have wood, we have this uh, bronze brass here, and then we have um, this other metal here, this iron or steel. So I'm going to have one folder for the wood, one for this material, and then I'll probably have one for the top of the handle here, and then one for the bit. So let's go ahead and make those folders and then apply basic materials to them to get us started. So first I'm going, I don't need this layer one, so I'm going to select it and hit delete. I'll create one folder and I'll name this um, H for handle underscore wood create another folder H for handle and then underscore um, brass let's say and then same thing H for handle underscore um, steel and then one more and I'll name this one um, B for bit and then steel Great, so let's start putting in some materials. I'm going to use this wood rough and drag it into the H underscore wood. I'll close that folder. I'll take this brass pure and drag it into the H brass. And then I will take this steel rust and wear and drag it into the H steel and I'll do the same thing for the B steel. And I'll close these folders and I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to create masks to effectively mask off areas where materials do not uh, apply right because I want just the wood to be applying to the wood portion of the handle and nowhere else. So I'm going to go ahead and click on these little eyeballs to turn off the visibility for these layers. Then with the folder that has the wood selected, I'm going to right click on the folder and add a black mask. That mask is now covering up the material or everything inside that folder. And we are going to unmask where we want to apply that material. So I'm going to go on the left hand side and go to this polygon fill. And I essentially want to unmask the entirety of this shell and this shell. This is the bottom of the handle and this is the wood portion of the handle. So over here I'm going to click on this UV chunk fill then I'll click and drag there and click and drag there and just double check and make sure I got everything I want. That looks good. Alright next I'll turn this H brass on and then I'm going to right click and go to add a black mask And I want most of this to be filled up to about this line here. So I'm going to go to Polygon Fill and click and drag and make sure I only get these polygons and unmask there. And let's check our reference to see how close that is. Looks pretty good. Okay. Um, just in terms of where the next metal meets. Then I'll turn this layer on and select this folder, right click, add a black mask. And I'm going to unmask these. Go to shell mode and I can zoom in here and click on this shell, this shell, and this shell. Then over here I'll add another black mask. I turn this visibility on and then I want the shells to be unmasked. Come over here to this paint mode, zoom out, and make sure everything has a material to it. Now if we look at this, and then we look at our reference, you can see this is very far from where we need to be, right? Pretty much every material does not have the correct properties to make it look like our reference. So in the next video, we will go ahead and edit the basic values of all of our layers 
to push it closer to our reference. And then after that, we'll begin to start adding details and nuance to the texture. And I'll see you there.